Hello everyone, my name is Kyle with Guide's Choice Retrievers here in Southeast Wyoming. Uh, owner, trainer, we specialize a lot in your serious waterfowl gun dogs, your guides, um, run a few tests, but for the most part our business is based upon actual guides and outfitters and those who are uh, going serious with their dogs. Today we're going to discuss the dive bomb products that we've been testing out since so uh, about November, December, I guess, um, on a lot of them, and we're going to show you mostly the dive bomb bumpers. Okay, the different colors we got the black and white, the white, orange, that yellow, and then also the gray. We're going to go through all these. We're going to go down to some water here in a minute, some land. We're going to show you how we utilize a lot of these bumpers. Um, before we go down, I'm going to just explain some basic uh, knowledge for you. For the guys that don't know, the, the black and white bumper, the dogs see in kind of that scale of black and white, right? They don't see, you know, in, it's in a gray scale. Um, but the black and white is going to be your most user friendly bumper for teaching marks, running blinds, um, anything like that. This is a good bumper to go and teach dogs with. It, it doesn't matter what your backdrop is, what your skyline is, those dogs are gonna see this bumper very clear. Um, so this is probably your most basic bumper. The white bumper, again, it's in white. You know, depending on your backdrop, this bumper is going to stand out on a lot of different situations. Uh, it, running drills, pile drills, tee work, uh, any of that sort of stuff, that white bumper you can utilize great. I'll go to the orange bumper next. You know, the durability of these things is just, its it's been awesome in all honesty. Um, they've held up great, but the orange bumper in particular, a lot of guys know it as running um, blinds because dogs can't see it as well. You can also use this to throw marks. It's a great bumper to throw marks with if you're really trying to get dogs to focus in on the mark itself. Um, there is nothing wrong with it. Going with running blinds and, and marks as well, the yellow bumper. This bumper I have utilized more than any other out of everything that we've got here. This has been my number one bumper all summer long so far and even early in the spring. I was kind of worried about like yellow grass, yellow bumper. No, this thing pops. I mean, when it's out there, you can see it. It doesn't matter two, three hundred yards away, you know, depending on your cover, this bumper stands out awesome. Now, I've seen dogs run over the top of it, but I've also seen dogs, you know, really focus in on it. It's a great tool. Um, you know, this may be a little bit more advanced, and same with the orange one. It might be a little bit more advanced for your marks for a lot of dogs, but again, great tool. The gray bumper on water for running water blinds. Um, again, marks. The gray bumper really hides itself on the water. I've seen dogs struggle with it, but that's, that's good because we want them to have to work, pay attention, and go where we tell them to go for a blind. For marks, hey, pay attention. This is where it's at, go get it. Um, it's, just a, it's a simple game, but the gray bumper is another good one. Uh, we had some snow early in the spring this year, and you know where a white bumper is just gonna blend in with the snow? I was utilizing the gray bumper. It all depends on what you're using and how you can utilize these to your advantage. I'm not saying everybody needs to go buy, you know, 10 bumpers at every one of these, but depending on what you're working on, there is something there for you. Before we leave, I'm also going to talk about the bumper bomber, okay? Seen a lot of stuff on the dive bomb uh, Facebook group and whatnot. Listen, guys. We don't necessarily use this to throw marks with, can we? Yeah. Is it great for getting a bumper clear away from a bird boy, you know, where a dog's running out and running to the bird boy instead of coming back to myself? Yeah, it's great because it's going to get that dog further away from you. If we're training test dogs, okay, yeah, we want them hunting outside the, outside the blind a little bit and, uh, you know, staying close to, for instance, a winger or something like that. So then, yeah, we're not going to necessarily use that. 
Here's the other fun thing though is when dogs get stressed, one of the best things you can do is go out and free them up. Sometimes we put a little bit more pressure, more stress on them. Go out and have fun with your dog. There is nothing wrong with that. Take the bumper bomber, go out. I've been doing it a lot this summer where we just take dogs out and get them freed up. Go have fun, go play with them, bond with them. Um, it's been a good tool. You can use it for different purposes, especially for the guy training by himself. You can get that, that bumper thrown out there a lot further than sitting there and pitching it underneath. Um, the bumper bomber is a fun tool also to utilize. That's what I've got on that. It, it, even as skeptic as I was, this thing has been an absolute bat bla blast and has been fun to uh, use. Alright, so we're out here now. We're on some water, land set up. Um, we're just throwing a single mark for the dogs. What we're going to do is we're going to throw each color of bumper so you can see kind of with the backdrop that we have which one's showing up. And also you can kind of tell how the dogs react to it. If they go out there, if they find it right away, if they have a little bit of trouble. Where the bumper is landing is kind of on the edge between some mowed grass and some taller grass. Grass is about six, eight inches tall, so not very much cover, but you know, with the with a two and a half inch bumper, it is sitting down in there a little bit, depending on how it kind of lands or bounces out there. We're gonna run some dogs. Here we go. Great. Good, here. Trey? Spike! That orange bumper was a little bit harder for that dog to pick up out there. That's making him pay attention to the marks. That's what we were talking about this morning with different colors and utilizing the different colors. So, we're gonna run it now and we're going to run it with the yellow bumper and see how he does. We're throwing this in the same spot so the dog should be able to pick it up pretty easy. However, again, focus. See where it goes, see where it leans. now we're gonna throw the gray bumper saw the yellow again dog got out there he did pop on it whatever uh, needed a little bit of help we're gonna throw the gray bumper right now like I was saying this morning this gray bumper heights pretty good so, but really pay attention also to how it is on that skyline out there did pick it up pretty quick kind of surprised if he struggled with the yellow and the orange because those normally stand out pretty good in the cover over there compared to the gray he picked it up but again we're throwing back in the same location over and over and over so it's a repetitive mark he's learning and the whole purpose that we're doing this too not only to show you the bumper colors but we're trying to get our dog driving from land water back into land and back out to where they're taking a straight line back and forth to it Mark. Spank! Jelly! 
So we're just getting done running some marks here this morning. We ran the mark over on uh, by the water. Uh, we didn't really have much of a bad drop on that. It was very minimal. Uh, more skyline than anything else. I felt like the black and white obviously stood out the most. Orange and yellow and then the white and the gray. Um, dogs did struggle a little bit this morning with it. Uh, kind of surprised by it but we did get them picked up. We moved over here into a little hay meadow. We had some trees behind us. Uh, personal opinion for for the human eye, the orange bumper definitely stood out the most. Uh, very easy to pick up coming through the trees, all that. However, for the dog, again, you're gonna be challenging them a little bit more. Uh, second, second bumper that I thought stood out was the black and white. Obviously, that's what's gonna stand out the most, uh, and dogs are gonna see it. Every dog ran down there, picked it up solid. It went over really well today. Um, and it will, especially for your young dogs. This is gonna build a lot of foundation and a lot of confidence in your young dogs coming up. Next bumper that I thought stood out was the yellow. I'm telling you, this bumper here, it's been probably my go-to bumper all summer long. It doesn't matter what we put it on. This bumper has been standing out, whether it's blinds or marks. This one, it was good, especially when it got on the ground. I, as a handler, could see where it was uh, laying out there in the field, no matter if it was in the green grass or in the yellow, this was standing out really nicely. Next, just a solid white bumper. Um, with a solid white bumper, yeah, I can visually see it good on the ground, but coming through the trees, it was a little bit more difficult. It, it didn't pop, for instance, um, the way the white and black one did. Uh, that black definitely helps on some of these backdrops. So, great bumper uh great for uh teaching and when the dogs got out there obviously it was easy to find but it it came in fourth in my opinion the gray bumper hard bumper to see tough yeah you could see it really good on the skyline but once it got behind the trees or in front of the trees dogs had to really focus hard on it uh, when dogs got down there a lot of them did pick it up fairly nicely but it is going to challenge your dogs a lot more so that's my review from this morning watching different dogs watching different backdrops so hope you all can visualize this see it and everything turns out great